It's my great pleasure to be the chair of this session. It's the first session uh, on Africa. So uh, during this uh, panel session, uh, all our guests will have opportunity to um, provide comments and questions by the main, main important is the speaker is Professor uh, Mohamed Rafti, uh, who uh, gives us the presentation on smart cities. Let me remind you that this uh, session is on the uh, innovative research. So today we will have the opportunity to listen to the uh, speech on uh, information communication technology in Africa by example of uh, Egypt. Uh, therefore, I would like to ask Professor Rashti to give us a speech. Professor Rashti, floor is for you. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> my lecture about application of smart city, uh, Egypt's new administrative capital. <clears throat> this one. I don't know. It's not work. Ah, it's work here only. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what is uh, a smart city? Smart city uh, enable three important uh, pillars: smartness, safety, sustain, uh, sustainability. Uh, most country in Africa are uh, priorities digital transformation and smart city as one of the core focus areas in their plans. There are few, okay. There are few uh, national and private initiative for smart cities in Africa at multiple scales and levels. The new administrative capital city in Egypt represents a prime example for the establishment of smart city model along with multiple other smart city initiative underway in the country. Sorry. Oh. Uh, I, I would like to. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I will go uh, to the first one again. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Okay, um, could you help us? Okay, 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 thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, um, what are the services uh, provided? Uh, okay, uh, this, this one. Here? Ah, good. Here? And you and Max. Okay, that, thank you. Okay. Back? Back. Are you? So, what are the services provided in the new capital city? First, recycling organic waste to grow and flourish local food. Build an integrated transportation network. Build 
a unified digital infrastructure, create smart network facilities, create a smart traffic system. Ah, sorry. Ah. Egypt adopting the smart concepts. <clears throat> So, uh, new administrative capital, Egypt is building new administrative capital as a majesty to host more than million inhabitants in the near future. Also, there are many uh, new smart cities will build in Egypt such as New Alamein. New Alamein, it's a smart city in north uh, coast of Egypt on the Mediterranean Sea. The new capital strategic location. New capital city is located 35 kilometer East Cairo. The area of the new capital is 700 square kilometers. It's equivalent to the size of the city of Singapore. Between the regional ring road and the Cairo Suez Road and Cairo El Ain Sokhna Road. This is the tools of business in smart cities. There are many tools in these smart cities. Ah. Yes. Ah. Okay. I don't know what's happened. Huh? The tool here, but I do not know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, sometimes uh, I'm very sorry. Uh, can someone help me for that? Because this. Uh, again, we need the help. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The tools, I, I, don't, I cannot get the tools. I don't know what, why. <coughs> the tools here. There is the tools here, but I don't. Can you say in the next slide, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, oh, okay. okay no problem. No problem. Oh, next slide, please. Okay, okay. The tool of business uh, in smart cities, uh, it's uh, data sets, Internet of Things, clean energy resources, uh, electronic networks. What is the uh, Electronic networks, okay. Artificial intelligence and blockchain information and communication technologies and big data. Why is this tool? I, okay. Okay. How cities are getting smarter? By connectivity, automated system, efficient management of public resources, free internet, architectural innovation, and electric vehicles. 
What is the challenges in a smart city? Lake of funds, governance, lake of infrastructure and labor, digital security, culture adaptation, public mistrust, and network connectivity and data capacity. This is the challenges in a smart city. What is the safe city? The safe city is covering all parts of the city with CCTV cameras and control sensors integrated to the city control center. The smart utilities is the management and operation of electricity, gas, and water to reduce consumption and cost. Also, the smart traffic in smart city will design streets with smart monitoring of traffic congestions and accidents. Also, in smart city, there are smart buildings. Smart buildings automatically identify the, the most effective ways to save resources and provides healthy environment. The smart energy, energy management focusing on renewable energy for a green environment while using um, IoT, it's Internet of Things, to save power consumption. The connected city building optical fiber infrastructure, connecting every building using FTTX technology. What's FTT uh, network architecture? and application using optical fiber network architecture. The artificial intelligence application in the administrative capital, new administrative capital, uh, artificial intelligence is surveillance and security. Artificial intelligence in traffic management and vehicle parking. Also, there are face detection by artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence in waste collection and waste disposal management. Artificial intelligence in city administration and planning management. Artificial intelligence in energy consumption optimization. So, it's very important using artificial intelligence in smart city. What's artificial intelligence in surveillance and security? And artificial intelligence in traffic management, vehicle parking, and also facial recognition by artificial intelligence. Uh, artificial intelligence in city administration and planning management. Also using artificial intelligence in waste collection and waste disposal management. But finally, artificial intelligence using in energy consumption uh, and optimization. What is the challenges faced while creating an artificial intelligence powered in new administrative capital? Firstly, hardware installation and maintenance costs. Natural damage 
or theft of artificial intelligence equipment, security and privacy of the citizens, classist discrimination in society. The advantages of blockchain for governing cities. Increasing, increased transparency and connectivity. Direct communication. Integrity over information. Efficient management. The uses of blockchain in the new capital, uh, a new administrative capital, Firstly, security, energy, mobility, waste, and participation. The ICT application, a new capital uh, administrative, are uh, used to enhance the quality, performance, and interactivity of urban service reduce cost and resource consumption, improve its sustainability, sustainability, efficiency, and services. This is done by integrating operations on several fronts. ICT smart city in infrastructure, in infrastructure characteristics. Without ICT, the smart city idea cannot exist. Consequently, ICT infrastructure design for smart cities must itself be smart. It's important to add intelligence to this network and to provide scalability, robustness, and flexibility. This can be done with several design network concepts, including automated and simplified network management, aut automatic security, threat isolation and remediation, IoT, it's Internet of Things, enabled networks, and uh, robustness and scalability. ICT smart city in, in infrastructure's characteristics. I think uh, I, I said this before. Okay. Ah, in smart city, there is a big data. Big data is the big data sets that cannot be processed using traditional computing techniques. It's not technique that can be worked on its own or in isolation. Rather, it involves many areas of business and technology. The big data characteristics, volume, velocity, variety, and others. This is the big data applications in new administrative uh, capital in Cairo. Uh, smart grid, smart transportation, smart health care, smart governance, smart city planning, smart ag agriculture. So, the effect of the economy. The GDP decreased in 2015 to 85%. This compared to 90% in the previous year, uh, 2016, and only increased to reach 103% uh, in 2017. Reducing the unemployment rate in Egypt from 
15% in 2013 to uh, 13% in 2020. That's the effect of the economy. Uh, uh, we have uh, many phases. But the um, transparency is... is um, uh, okay. Okay, the effects of economy, a second phase of the economy and uh, structural uh, perform program. Mm. Ah, it's a oh, problem. What's the conclusion? The conclusion, the revolution in communication technology is transforming the structure of modern paper, su super cities. The revolution in communication technology is transforming the structure of modern super cities. So, it's quite evident that further into uh, 21st century, our cities will become big networks of data, driven economist eco ecosystem, driven ecosystem in order to survive Business will need to make data-based decisions, and so big data analysis will be essential tool for business to survive. That's reference. Okay. Uh, Professor, uh, I would like uh, to say yeah. uh, one, uh, one thing. One comment Last. more. Yes. Uh, one thing is for sure the new administrative capital will be the most advanced city ever seen in Egypt. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thanks, Professor. Yes, so now, because it is panel session, so I think we together provide um, questions and comments to Professor Rajdi, and uh, he will answer, and next, maybe the next turn. And also, if the students will have the questions, that will be great. Okay, let me uh, start, the panelists. If you would have any questions and comments to Professor uh, yes, please. So uh, let me start. Yeah, but because as I see this new capital as a smart city is a huge, really very huge project. Maybe not only one. So my first question is: Which of these technologies uh, is the most important for you? Yeah, which of that? Yeah, that, but I think my professors will ask the next and next question, and you answer at the end. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the uh, artificial intelligence is uh, more interested for me in the new capital city. Okay, yeah. great. But and why? also big data analysis. Okay, but yeah. uh, could you somehow explain why this artificial intelligence is so important? Which part of uh, artificial intelligence is important? Uh, I... I uh I declare that in the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, um, okay, could you remind it, us? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, firstly, for um, uh, face recognitions and safety and uh, many uh, things for artificial intelligence. Okay. Like, uh, uh, yeah, one, one minute. Please. Okay, that, that's uh, true uh, that biometrics yeah. is important in yeah. recognition, particularly the uh, citizens yeah, for the registration and administration. Yeah, surve work. Surveillance and security, traffic management and vehicle parking, face detection, uh, waste uh, collection and waste disposal uh, management. Uh, also artificial intelligence in city administration and planning management and uses in energy consumption optimization. Okay, yeah. great. 
Thank you. Yeah. Professor Michał Goliński, do you have you have microphone? I think so. Yeah, you have this here. Yeah. Um, if you could give us the question, it, it, somehow it is switched off. Yeah. Okay, I give you. Uh, okay. Okay. The technology is very dangerous of things. So, Professor Ajdi, I have one question. Uh, because of all technolo technological features, the cost of living in uh, such city uh, will be probably expensive or very expensive. Uh, do, do you think uh, there is a risk that those new smart cities will become exclaves of luxury? This is the first question. And the second question, it will be uh, regarding uh, the another small project like, uh, do, you, do, you, do you have in your presentation? Isn't it cheaper to implement new technologies to existing cities rather than building the new cities? Okay, um, uh, so, um, of course not, uh, because um, uh, we have in, um, in central, um, in uh, Egypt, uh, many uh, compounds have uh, zero down payments and uh, installments up to 20 years to make it easier, it's easier for a large scale uh, of the population to own new homes in the new administrative uh, capital. Uh, moreover, the population of Egypt is of high increase. Therefore, many residents of all classes need new unpopulated areas. Uh, this is why the major reason for the new capital city to relieve congestions in Cairo. Uh, also, uh, the smart city concept has been already applied in several living compounds across Egypt, such as um, other compounds in New uh, Cairo City, and residents are very satisfied. Uh, therefore, the application of the concept on a large scale will definitely have very good feedback. Um, also, ICT can prove to be extremely helpful in avoiding and overcoming criminal activities. Uh, at the same time, if this technology is used negatively, it will lead to an uh, infragment of people's uh, privacy. But citizens could not be under control at all, only monitored for their own safety. Uh, also, ICT contributes uh, to achieving objectives that um, entail developing uh, the ICT infrastructure, uh, fostering digital inclusion, achieving the transition uh, to knowledge-based economy, building capacities, and encourage innovation, uh, fighting corruption, ensuring cybersecurity, and promoting Egypt's positions at the regional and international levels. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Professor Hadia, Professor Zinab, do you have any comments or questions to Professor Rajdi uh, just about this, uh, the new um, initiative, the new capital? I'm not sure if the microphones are working. I'm afraid just one is working. That is of mine, but with others, we are not able to switch it on. So I will share. <laughs> Could you help us? It's working. OK. okay. Professor okay. Hadi, yes, please, some comments, a question. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Rushdie, for this enlightening uh, presentation. Uh, very important, okay, okay of course, uh, Dr. Zainam and me, we come also from Egypt, and the smart city is really something big that is being planned now. Uh, my uh, comment and question 
uh, is also related to our presentation later, because uh, as, as we have seen from Professor Rojdi's presentation, there will be a lot of technology, lots of ICT embedded in yeah. this city. And uh, to what extent do you think people in Egypt are ready for this? And how will, with, will it be possible to make everybody integrated, included in this uh, technology? Yeah, I think many peoples in Egypt uh, yeah, yani, uh, can use this technology. Yeah. Everyone ha have a, a technology in mobile mm -hmm. can use uh, this technology. It's, it's not uh, hard, it's easy to use this technology in, in, uh, in the administration. Would it maybe need, uh, on, a, on, a, on a national level, uh, on the policy level, it needs uh, starting to embed this more or less uh, across in education, in, in yeah, several of course. areas, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, uh, yeah, that the citizens are ready yeah. to, for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are, we are already in, uh, in every street in Cairo, uh, CCTV camera <laughs> and uh, control uh, the traffics. Yeah, 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 yeah it started. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I can imagine that it needs uh, a wide uh, policy uh, action so that Everybody starting from kindergarten are ready to embrace this when yeah, they are of course, grown of up. Yeah, of course, of course. Yes, so it needs uh, uh, complementary activities as well to support all this technology, right? Yeah. I would say. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah the mobile phone in African countries are very popular. Yeah. I heard some years ago that uh, mobile phones are more popular than the internet and computers. Yeah. So in each village, uh, the citizens, uh, residents have the mobile phone. Yeah. 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 Everyone have mobile phone. <laughs> yeah, that is that is important for the small business units. Yeah, to yeah. to be connected online. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, that's a huge challenge. Uh, yeah, maybe Professor Zinab, do you have any comments or questions on that issue? Um, thank you very much for your presentation, Dr. Rojdi. Um, Basically speaking, I had flipped through uh, several readings and um, the news are that we're not stopping at the smart city villages. Actually, the government is planning to take the model and uh, widening the scope of whatever they are doing in the smart city to another cities. And this gets me to the question when you were saying, is it much cheaper to uh, include it in the originally uh, located cities, or is it good to start it from scratch? Yeah. In innovation in general, you have either the two scenarios. Either you continue on a product, or you do things and create them from scratch. I think giving cities as examples to uh, sm uh, smart digitalization in all services could entail more budgeting, more training, more uh, inclusion of several parts in the society, but on the other hand, you start something from scratch, giving it as an example, reflecting on the policies um, uh, of the government towards more ICT's technology in every single branch. The new city that I'm talking about, and it's just under um, visionary dreams, it's not actually um, uh, done yet, of course, is uh, a city called Tarbul City on the line of Upper Egypt. So it's from Cairo to Upper Egypt you have almost um, something like 12 hours uh, by train or one hour and a half by plane. And Luxor and Aswan are highlighted, um, you know, historical cities in Upper Egypt that everyone uh, basically heard about with all this kind of old civilization. So creating a new city other than the smarter village in New Cairo um, as uh, in this particular area, gives us the general overview of the government inclination and direction to remodel the, the smart villages, because this is actually how we get to um, be on the higher level of ICT development. So. Okay, but now we have the uh, problematic question. What's happened with the old city, and if it isn't a dangers that we have to so 
duality. Uh, modern, high-tech, uh, smart city, and uh, rich and luxurious. And what's happened with the old cities? Poor, no ICT, and uh, what? Economic development planning, sir, yeah. are happening, but taking everything at a step or by degrees, because Cairo, we have 22 million in mm -hmm. population, only in Cairo. <laughs> we have 100 and one, yes. three million total population in Egypt. So you start by a model and you try to take bits and pieces uh, of this model to envision the whole uh, governorates. And now what we are doing with the e-government, like uh, Professor Rojdi was saying, you have cameras everywhere for the ticketing and the trespassing the speed limit, for example, in, in several areas in Cairo, not only in smart cities. So I think when the model is complete, things could be taken as learned practices from this model uh, elsewhere. Will you see how the practice will differ uh, to the theory? To what? To the theory. To the territory? Because, the rest yeah, of the... To theory. Theory. Because it's, it's often so theory. The te yeah. wonderful theories. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah the practice implementation very, is more very complicated. Very different yeah, to <laughs> the practice and realization of this yeah. theory. No, give us like um, 10 more years and meet me again in the University of Economics in Katowice. We're yeah. going to do something great, really. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We, we hope that soon, uh, within a couple of years, we will have opportunity to, to see the new city and, and maybe students or any uh, conference participant will have the questions to, to professor or to panelist, uh, please. I'm not sure if it is uh, planet anyway. Okay, let me uh, repeat the question. The question <laughs> concerns usage of uh, blockchain technology in auditing, yeah, and also artificial intelligence. So, Professor, what can you say us about the application of blockchain technology uh, in this smart city? Yeah, yeah, there are many applications. Uh, yeah, there uh, is a new so challenge. Yeah, yeah, and there is challenges, yeah. yeah. I think just now it is uh, for me like a new fashion, oh, this yeah, blockchain okay. technology uh, and yeah. constantly applications are created. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. we are using blockchain in the new administrative capitals um, as a, a security, energy, mobility, waste and participation. Uh, what is the, um, the challenges of uh, blockchains? Um, I, I, I think I declare this. In, uh, in, the, in, my, uh, in my transparencies, um, uh, blockchains. Yeah, uh, the advantage of blockchains. Yeah, increased transparency and connectivity and direct communication, integrity uh, over information and efficient management. Um, yeah, I hope that blockchain yeah. will be one this of the technologies. This is for technology. blockchain and for uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, the challenges is um, uh, the hardware installation and maintenance cost. Yeah, because um, yeah, it, it, it yeah it takes uh, costs. Uh, the natural damage of the thief of artificial intelligence equipment. Yeah, some thieves. <laughs> yeah, okay. And the security and privacy of the citizens because uh, monitoring uh, everything on the street. On the, yeah, okay. Uh, the uh, classist discrimination in society. But I think uh, there is no discrimination because um, the poor people can take 
uh, a home in uh, new administrative uh, capital because uh, there, uh, there is no down payment for the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, as it was said, this uh, new capital is a huge project. However, I am afraid that because of this new technology, it is uh, this project, one or uh, more than one, is very energy consuming. Yeah. yeah. So what can you tell us about the um, <laughs> energy uh, costs uh, and uh, energy uh, usage? Yeah, for example, uh, the light on the street um, is closed when there is no uh, traffic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's open and closed mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, under the, uh, the traffics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the building also, mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, there, is, uh, there are many consumption of energy in the building because uh, we are using a solar uh, systems uh, because we have a sun. <laughs> in yeah. Egypt, yeah. so so we are using uh, many buildings uh, using uh, a solar systems. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I assume that uh, you have this uh, 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 solar system on the Sahara. Yeah. 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 This is the, the uh, this uh, smart city in uh, in in the deserts. It's it was a desert between uh, two roads in. Uh, in, in Egypt, and uh, it's um, uh, the size of this uh, city is uh, uh, such as Singapore size. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. so the solar um, is the most uh, and there important. are there are um, uh, three uh, uh, plan uh, for these cities. Uh, we uh, are finished the first plan to uh, transfer the government. Firstly, to this uh, uh, smart city, and then the people will transfer after that. And, okay, yeah. but uh, what other sources of energy do you have in Egypt? My question is to all uh, the... We, are, uh, we have many, many sources uh, of energies. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we, uh, we are discovering um, gas on, uh, on the, uh, near uh, the coast of Mediterranean Sea. Uh, and we export this gas uh, to Europe. And uh, also we have um, uh, many petroleum. Uh, yes, please, uh, Professor Hadia, you have uh, comments? Uh, yes, uh, we also have, of course, uh, Egypt and the sun. We have solar energy. Uh, we have sun, sun energy coming from the sun. This we have a lot and we are trying to increase and expand the usage of yeah. it in Egypt as much as we can. We also have in areas in Egypt at the Red Sea, we have the, the wind. So we are trying oh, yeah. to make yeah. use of it. And in our actually university, we have um, developed several windmills that are now in Ayn uh, mm. uh, that uh, and, and they are yeah, trying yeah, yeah. to, uh, uh, because they, they, they have a big project on yeah, this, yeah. they try to make it semi-electricity, semi-wind, and try to maximize the use of it as much as they can. And they have succeeded in doing that, and Egypt is trying as much as possible because we have areas um, on the Red Sea, and actually they found areas in Upper Egypt yeah. that have very, very strong winds, yeah. and they are trying uh, to use them as much as they can. Uh, there is more and more awareness of having clean energy as much as possible, and this is uh, reflected in many things and many usages, and we are starting to have e-cars, which is not very common, but it is uh, step by step. Uh, there is awareness, and we are uh, definitely trying to, uh, to adopt that. So uh, I think Egypt is lucky because of our yeah. natural resources. Yeah, yeah. It just needs, um, again, like the point I tried to mention before, because it's uh, a habit and culture. It needs awareness. It, ne it needs training. It needs 
needs that people get used to this kind of technology that they are not used to because there are challenges, of course, uh, from the energy from the sun. It's not 24-7. So people have to uh, kind of um, uh, train themselves in the usage of, of energy as much as possible and to make use of the resources that we have. But I think, as you said, the Professor Rujdi also in the smart city, they are trying to do this as much as yeah, they can. Yeah, I told uh, that uh, yes. we, we are using solar uh, yes, exactly. systems. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, for electricity of building. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. E-cars, yeah. electronic cars on the one side, ah. the huge computers, yeah. And particularly, I suppose, in this uh, smart city, air conditioning, yeah, because of air conditioning, yeah, because yeah. of the hot temperature, you do not need uh, the, the warming <laughs> systems, but you, you yeah. use uh, widely the air conditioning, yes, to, uh, because of the temperature. Could you remind us what is the temperature now in Egypt? It's very hot. 28, 30 degrees? No, 28, no, no 38. So 38. 38. 38. <laughs> I think 34 or 35. It's not, it's not cold. Yeah. <laughs> I just coming. It's not cold. It's hot. <laughs> 25, yeah. <laughs> it's always sunny. Today yeah. is 25 and 21 in the evening. Yeah. Oh. So oh, between 28 so and 30. So uh, no, The highest no. is 30? Yeah. yeah. The highest is 30? Okay. Oh, it's hot. It's, yeah. <laughs> So at night is you have lower temperature, yeah? That is the temperature at night is lower, yeah? No, yeah. not, no, 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 uh, not too all much, the yeah, day. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yes, so it's uh, the new city will need probably the energy. Yeah, what about the, um, I would say the old uh, Cairo? It was the question, but maybe you add some comments concerning the historical buildings, how they will be preserved or you, you, what you will you do on these historical buildings, the new historical museum you will have in Egypt, yeah? Ah, we, we, um, we will open a new uh, great, great uh, museum near the pyramids. Mm -hmm. It's a very great museum near the pyramids mm -hmm. because uh, we have only a small museum in the central of uh, Cairo, uh, but we have many, 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 many antiques. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, we will open uh, Dr. Hadia next year, this great uh, new uh, museum. Yes, they have the top opening already. Huh? Yes, please uh, yeah. take microphone. Yes, and give uh, us some comments uh, on that. Uh, yes, the new uh, museum is opening uh, officially very soon, but there is a soft opening and people are already going there next to the pyramids. Yeah. Uh, um, we have now, uh, actually, I have a chance to talk about this. We have, you know, as you know, we have the COP27 taking place in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt next, uh, uh, next month. Uh, are you aware of COP27? No. Climate change, are you aware of it? Yeah. Yes, of the United Nations, the Climate Change Conference. So this uh, conference was, for example, in Glasgow last year, COP26, and COP27 is taking place in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt uh, next month. It was a Katowice before. Yes, uh, yes. A cup, which cup? 24. Wow. So you must be aware of it. All students here, you must be aware of it. So this year it's in Egypt and uh, actually it's all about the climate change and the policies that uh, are going to be held in order to take care of the environment and so on. So actually our university is holding a simulation and Dr. Zainab was actually one of the uh, uh, um, teachers who gave capacity building to the students in this uh, simulation model. And the simulation model is taking place starting tomorrow for three days, where students from around the world uh, have gathered, some online and some on campus, and they are simulating the model. So they are pretending they are representing the United Nations, and they are sitting there and coming up with uh, options and scenarios and policies and how to uh, take care of the environment, how to take care of the climate, and so on. So it is a priority um, in Egypt and all over the world to take this um, file and uh, preserve the environment, to take, uh, take care of the, the, the climate. So um, on all aspects, and I'm sure um, 
It will touch things like preserving uh, old cities and how to take care of them in order to uh, preserve it for future generations, to have the chance to look at it, to appreciate it, and so on. Because the climate, as you must be witnessing, all of you, even young people, I'm sure you are, with, you are noticing that the, the weather is not as it used to be, that it's much... Uh, everybody is telling us, Zainab and me, that uh, the weather now in Katowice is much warmer than it used to be. This is global warming. One of the problems that our Earth is facing now because of all the pollution and all of the uh, harm we did over the years to uh, the environment. So uh, it is very important on all aspects to take care of this. And this is what it's all about. Uh, I'm sure you know about uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, the 17 goals, and all the strategies that are being done to uh, be more sustainable, take care of energy, take care of uh, everything. And actually, ICT is helping in this as much as possible because we want to save uh, what is left of the planet as much as possible. Dr. Zena? Yeah. yeah, if I can comment on that, uh, because we are now facing the future of tomorrow, the future generation, uh, our amazing students. Um, I read um, a, a very uh, interesting statement uh, written by De Bono in his book, Lateral Thinking. And uh, I think that um, De Bono is one of the authors that you might uh, would love to return to when we speak about leadership, lateral thinking, critical thinking, and so on. In his book, uh, The Way of Thinking, uh, in 2019, he was speaking um, a bit of a long time before the talk about the COP27 held in Egypt. Um, change your way of thinking, because think gray, not green. And this was very uh, shocking because everybody's talking about thinking green and the climate change and sustainability, SDGs and so on. But what he meant by saying thinking gray is that think about what you're doing to harm the environment because you are the gray figure in this environment because the poor quality of human thinking is much more dangerous than climate change. And the idea of preserving environment and in preserving um, uh, our planet has to stem from us. Even if we give mentoring uh, to younger generation, the younger generation will carry it over as a torch for future and future generations to come. So this is actually uh, when Professor Hadzia uh, was saying that uh, taking care of what harm the environment, you ha we have to take care of that. Otherwise, we will turn to be gray, not green, as per the quotation of De Bono. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Do you have any questions, comments to Professor on this issue, on this book? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yes, please. Yes. Yes, Professor, take my it's only monitoring microphone. The street, not inside the building. <laughs> yes, yes, please repeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the artificial intelligence monitoring uh, in the street. Yeah, not monitor monitoring inside your building. Yeah. You are, yeah, monitoring street for security. Yeah, yeah. Almost uh, cities, uh, big cities in the world, monitoring uh, on the street. Uh, I have been uh, visited uh, uh, Bikin uh, four years ago. Uh, there is a many C uh, CCTV camera on the street to uh, uh, mm, uh, to monitoring the uh, the people and uh, and if uh, ha um, uh, any crime um, happened, can um, uh, have a. Uh, a face recognition for the thief in the street mm -hmm. and recognize, yeah, and recognizes him, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, it's helpful for the uh, uh, cri crimin criminal. Yeah, yeah. for it's, crime. It's helpful. AI. It's a double-edged sword. Yeah. yeah. Like in every initiative. Yeah. And you can yeah. see the surveillance across the world. But I'm not sure that uh, uses it uh, for <laughs> another things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am afraid that the uh, questions from the audience are not recorded, so if you could help us and provide a microphone for the audience, it would be great. Uh, my question to organizers. <laughs> okay, could you, Professor, repeat these questions? Uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, artificial intelligence uh, it's more useful for uh, criminal, um, and um, I think the CCTV um, cameras uh, on the street monitoring uh, everything, monitoring uh, car, peoples, everything. But uh, it, I think it's not using uh, for uh, uh, other uh, non-democratic uh, things. No, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's helpful for the uh, for the police and yeah, to catch any thief, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, last week I had opportunity to be in South America, so I heard that that, for example, for the poor people for in this um, uh, districts they have the low prices for energy. So everywhere they have even this, you know, the poor people, the slums, they have the lights and they have the water and they do not pay uh, much for that. They have reduced prices. So my question concerns, how do you supply the water energy for these poor people, as I, for these 20,000 millions of people in Korea? Uh, we it's have very uh, costly. Nile River. <laughs> Nile River, oh, okay, but Nile yeah, River, but yeah, it's, um, it's good water and healthy. Yeah, more than mineral water. Yeah, yeah that is the, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we say that uh, uh, if you drink from the Nile, yeah, you must come again uh, to Egypt to drink again. Uh, if I survive, yeah. yeah but the question is concerned the, the condition of this water. In the, in it's filtration, the yeah, yeah. We make filtration for the Nile River for all peoples, and it's um, uh, yeah, uh, 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 there is uh, there is no cost, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for this uh, for this water, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We have mineral water mm -hmm. with um, yeah sheep coast, mm -hmm. and we have uh, the uh, uh, water from the Nile River uh, after filtration uh, without any cost for all peoples. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, it is very yeah, important yeah, uh, to somehow provide the energy, the water, and food particularly for these 20 million people because it is really a yeah. lot of people. This. Yeah, and we have uh, um, the water um, uh, in the Nile um, in all... Um, we have a high dam yeah. that reserves the water, mm -hmm. the Nile water. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, no problem for the uh, water in Egypt. Yeah. It's, it's true because even the houses are, I think so, are not so important because, the, as I remember, the people just sleep in the in the streets. Yeah, but all the day are in the streets. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, little people because uh, the markets it's, it's are in open. all the wards. It's on all the wards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is it's a, a question. It's, yeah. 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 
Any comments, Professor Zima? Yeah, that is um, a very interesting city, I would say. As I remember, this 20 million, there's a lot of people. The streets are full of people. Uh, so the people uh, use different, uh, I would say, cars and other um, means of transport, a lot of buses, a lot of uh, uh, children. So it is um, not like in Europe. It is, I think, the population is growing, constantly going up. You know? And there is another issue like a food problem. Do you have enough food to supply, particularly because of the crisis in Ukraine? Uh, do you have enough food, particularly for this? Just maybe I said crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No problem with no food. problem for food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Egypt have uh, a great agriculture. Yes, yeah. that is. Uh, uh, I remember uh, that uh, is a uh, wonderful, uh, um, uh, particularly uh, the. Uh, vegetables and fruits yeah. are very tasteful. Yeah. You know, in and, comparison. and very cheap also. Yeah, and they are very cheap. It's but very cheap, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, drinks and soft drinks and many uh, other things are produced in, in Egypt. So uh, they are very cheap, particularly for these people who uh, just uh, have not maybe enough money for buying. But um, do you afraid that this uh, smart city development would lead to certain differentiation of the people, that the rich people will move to this new city, the old will stay? No, 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 no. no. I said that uh, because um, um, the building has zero down payment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so every, everyone can uh, buy or sell uh, can sell this uh, building uh, by zero down payment and uh, every year pay uh, something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not... Uh, yeah, there, is, uh, there are many villa. It's, it's high costed, but, uh, but the uh, small building is it's not... Uh, uh, not so expensive. Uh, expensive. But do you mean that uh, the development of this uh, smart city and uh, it is investment provided by the government or a private organization? It is private? No, by the government. Strictly by the government? By the government, yeah. And some, some private, orga some private okay. organization, yeah. some private organization, but the mainly by government. Yes, some professor. private organizations are like construction, contracting builders. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but monitored with the government. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so and we have also... Uh, monorail mm -hmm. between the uh, new administrative uh, capital and Cairo. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, half an hour or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are no transportation problems. Yeah, it will be opened uh, in the last, um, yeah, in the coming year. Yeah, the monorail mm -hmm. and light uh, train also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's the transportation is, uh, yeah, is, uh, is very fast from Cairo to uh, the new capital city. It takes uh, half an hour or something like that. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah. So, yeah. so the people can stay in, uh, in Cairo, but, uh, but uh, we, we, we didn't uh, stay many people in Cairo because Cairo now is uh, uh, 32 million, uh, Dr. Zainab, 32, 22, 22, 22 million. So yeah, it's uh, overcrowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah overcrowded. That's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, yes, but you have in, in Egypt uh, many other very interesting historical places like Alexandria. So, yeah. what about these cities? How they are developed uh, in the future? We have a new smart city in uh, near Alexandria, about uh, 200 kilometers from Alexandria. It's called uh, El Alamein. New, uh, uh, it's new, yeah. it's, it's will, uh, yeah, in the under construction, yeah. I mean, it's uh, in the north coast of uh, Egypt, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, uh, I'm afraid only that the um, tourists uh, will prefer the historical places instead of visiting these new smart cities, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because it's. Um, uh, this, uh, as I remember in Cairo, the um, historical place is absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, the historical places uh, like the old museum in Cairo 
is so famous and a lot of uh, really wonderful exhibitions. So uh, what do you think, how the students will uh, consider this new initiative the way stay in the old Cairo? <laughs> Difficult yeah, to say. Yeah, Cairo is still Cairo. Uh, yeah, yeah is, and the uh, tourists uh, visited uh, Cairo for the historical building and for permits and for yeah. museum and for other things. The smart cities uh, for people's uh, living and uh, in, in, in smart level, yeah. Yeah, that is uh, the question to construct a new city in the, um, uh, I would say, desert area, because I'm afraid that it would be like in Brazil many years ago that, you know, the historical place is one and it is for tourists and for, for poor people, but on the other side, you know, the government, we have the building <laughs> and the administrative staff, the rich people stay. And uh, it is uh, in many cities, I, I'm not sure if the conference participants have the similar opinion, but it is in uh, South America, it is typical that you have the uh, district where it stay rich people um, and you see the wonderful buildings, uh, modern architecture. On the other side, you have, uh, you know, the districts with the so-called slums. You know, that is no, 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 no. I, I didn't uh, think so. Because uh, in, e in Cairo, the government uh, renew the building and destructive the old building for people, for poor people, and give it for these poor people new building okay yeah with down uh, with zero down payment mm -hmm. yeah, yeah uh, that's, uh, that's it's in cairo mm -hmm. it's in cairo mm -hmm. yeah so yeah new, uh, uh, we renew uh, uh, many building uh, many old buildings in in cairo yeah but historical still uh, as it is cannot not uh, cannot uh, renew it yeah. yeah, that's uh, very difficult. On the one side, there is approach that we should, the historical building must also be renewed. Yeah, no, no, Poland, historical is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. still, still uh, old. This is the yeah. same. Yeah. Cannot uh, uh, touch yeah. it. <laughs> Nobody touch it. Yeah, the Sphinx must be the Sphinx and no changes in him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the same with the pyramids and so on, the, with the um, beggars uh, asking for money. Yeah, that is. Um, uh, Tradition, I would say, for for this uh, for this city. Um, yeah, but the, the, yes, you have some comments, mm. Professor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I'm curious. Uh, as I remember, you have the dyed city. Yeah, that is uh, the city which have no uh, citizens. There is a part of Cairo, dyed city, or you don't count. No, Maybe all all cities is crowded. Yeah. <laughs> Crowded all, of all, all. We yeah. have many compounds. Yeah. Compounds. Yeah. Compounds uh, um, uh, means um, yeah, um, uh, some uh, some buildings, but uh, surrounding by walls and securities yeah. and yeah, in, in the new capital, in the new uh, new Cairo. Mm -hmm. In the new Cairo, we have many compounds. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, as yeah, uh, yeah that I remember this uh, the great initiative of construction, this future university of Egypt. Yeah, it is on, also on the empty areas on desert was was constructed. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the new buildings. Yeah, mm. that is uh, fantastic support. Yeah, the technology support also. Yes, uh, but. Uh, uh, could you tell us about the, um, I would say, some economics issue? Who supported this F F uh, ICT uh, for this UJ University? Uh, it is private school. Private, private university. Yeah. Private university, yeah. private school. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that's private true. university. It's not uh, like in Champs University. In Champs University is governmental. Yeah. Uh, university supported by uh, uh, government. But uh, private university supported by many peoples have um, uh, yeah, will, will support this uh, university and uh, from tuition of uh, of the students uh, tuition fees of students and yeah they uh, they will uh, uh, improve 
the ICT and and uh, future university um, uh, this year in the QS uh, uh, ranking awards. Mm -hmm. It's 1001 in the QS ranking awards. Mm -hmm. It's first time private university go to the uh, in Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, go to the uh, QS rank. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, how many students have the Unshame University in comparison with the future? Ah, yeah. Uh, Much more. <laughs> big difference, yeah, yeah. Big governmental. Difference, yeah. Um, have many, many, many uh, students. Yeah, and, uh, for example, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, ec uh, Faculty of Economics in uh, in Ain Shams University has uh, 60,000. 60,000 people. And Shams University. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But um, yeah, um, um, almost uh, 10,000 be in uh, in the uh, in the campus oh. only. Okay. The others um, yeah, yeah, studying uh, online and uh, and not. Uh, uh, okay. in, in the compass, yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, but uh, but the uh, yeah. future is uh, very small. Yeah. yeah. In, in, How many? Uh, in general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, five hundred students. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the business school, right? Yeah, in the business school. Yeah. Five hundred students. Five hundred students. Oh. Yeah, huh? or four hundred. Two thousand. Two thousand. All. All. Ah, uh, by cohort, sorry, uh, by uh, level cohort. Uh, it's, yeah. All faculty is two thousand only. Yeah, but that's too uh, deep. Uh, uh, our university is 12,000. 12,000. It's, it's, yeah. uh, 12, yeah. uh, it's very low. Uh, yeah, yeah. Compared to public, to yeah, public yeah. universities, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we have two. Uh, you have two, uh, Future University of Egypt and British University of Egypt. Yeah, yeah they're different. It's yeah. the same. Yeah. The same, uh, private uh, schools. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and do you prepare, the, I would say, the students to work for this smart city? Yeah. Yeah. They have the courses on big data. And uh, there are many universities mm -hmm. established in the smart cities also. Mm -hmm. Many uh, universities mm -hmm. will yes. establish in smart yeah, cities. They got several licenses from other British universities as well to come uh, to the smart village from Coventry University, um, Hertfordshire University and other universities. Uh, trying to make it a complementary city. Services, ICTs, education and uh, oh, okay. housing and everything. Yeah. And that's the idea behind urban planning. This has started long time ago in, in, in India, in, in the earlier centuries, in the 19th century, when population was always stagnant in Klakata, and they tried to make projects of urbanization um, around several, even agricultural projects in several uh, lands in, in India. Mm -hmm. So you, you find the model is theoretical, but the practicality of the thing is matching our Egyptian growth, development, and environment. So we're doing it very well. Okay. Very innovative, actually. Yeah, that is very important, this education. Uh, but uh, also, how do you ev evaluate this uh, initiative? It is very costly, yeah? This for, for you, this smart city. Would it be very costly? Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, smart city, uh, I think, uh, for... Uh, 45 billion dollar started. Oh, yeah. 45. 45 billion billions dollars. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's a huge. Mm. It is very expensive. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. Comments. But uh, yeah. but uh, as Professor Rushdie has said. Uh, most of the funding of it is not coming from the government. As Zinab has explained, it's monitored by the government. Mm -hmm. But okay. they have private investors uh, put in mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the money because the government is more now uh, focused on the infrastructure of the roads and the bridges mm -hmm. and so on. But for, the, um, uh, for this uh, uh, smart city, they, yes, they secured private investments, mm -hmm. but they are monitoring it uh, as a government. This is our understanding of it. Mm -hmm. And this is what new public management is all about. You separate management from ownership. You monitor, survey, 
You give the government the privilege for infrastructure, roads, constructions, and everything monitored by specific construction company, and you give the superstructure, which are services like ICTs and all of the other technological services, to other bodies that are specialized in the area. They might be private entities, they do PPTs or BOTs, but at the end of the day, the ownership is the land, the security is the Egyptian land, and you do um, an extra uh, outsourcing for several other uh, technologies and activities as well. That's very well-known theory in management. Yeah, there is very specific cooperation, government with private agencies. Do you have any questions concerning this cooperation? Maybe the people from... There's a question here. Yeah, there's a question. Yes, please. Could you come here because we do not have... I will provide the mic. Okay. The... I have a question uh, about uh, a little earlier. You were talking about traffic and, uh, and cars in the city. Uh, I wanted to go back a little and ask about uh, traffic uh, and public transport especially. Because nowadays a lot of cities are uh, trying to get rid of cars in uh, city centers, uh, especially uh, internal combustion engine cars. Uh, so, uh, you are talking about CCTV cameras monitoring speed, for example, but a lot of cities want to uh, have only public transport in uh, cities. Uh, what about uh, supply transport also? Will there be uh, buses, trains, uh, normal road or yeah. only pedestrian uh, traffic? Yeah, we, uh, we are establishing uh, monorail. You know, you know monorail? Yeah, between the new administrative capital city and Cairo. And we have also light train. Yeah, and um, yeah, and uh, buses and uh, electric um, cars, new electric cars. We export many uh, new electric cars for the, uh, uh, and uh, no taxes for these uh, electric cars in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so many people, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think will have electric car. Yeah, uh, uh, that's uh, true, uh, that, but uh, the electric car, uh, private cars, yeah? Yeah, but we, have, we have uh, many buses also. Electric buses, yeah. yeah. yeah electric but uh, not yet, but mm -hmm. we have monorail and light uh, train, yeah. For the uh, uh, for this city, yeah. But we'll 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 establish uh, in uh, five or six months. Yeah, we'll start the monorail. I think in. Yes, part of it now is working. Please working. take microphone. Yeah, because yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. But finishing uh, after I think uh, six months or something. Some years ago, I remember you had in Cairo tramways. Remember? What? Tramways. Trams. Tram, tram, we have. Yeah. We have tra uh, but now we haven't tram. We have underground. Underground. Uh, yeah, underground. Uh, and uh, it's very fast. Yeah. It's uh, all in, in Egypt, uh, in Cairo, uh, the underground. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, uh, it, but it is the, the train, the old train, I uh, um, move it in Cairo, but it's still in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. yes. Still in Alexandria. Yeah. Maybe the people in Alexandria voted that uh, the uh, old train still. Oh. So uh, the government cannot uh, move uh, the old train in Alexandria. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, if you visit Alexandria, you, uh, you can uh, take the old train. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in Cairo, it's moved. Yeah, the public transport is important because, as I remember, in Cairo there is a problem of the parking place. Yeah. yeah. It is very difficult to find a parking place. <laughs> like at the university, at the beginning of new academic year, <laughs> it is the same, but even maybe uh, more difficult. So how do you propose to solve this problem of the parking place? Do you construct the new <laughs> parking, bu parking buildings? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, we have now um, uh, elect uh, uh, electronic um, automatic yeah. uh, parking oh, yeah. by uh, levels. Yeah. Oh, and it, it takes the cars and uh, put it in the levels and when you need it, we have many levels of uh, parking. 
Okay. And it's automatic. We have in uh, in Heliopolis, in in uh, near my uh, my home, uh, an uh, electronic uh, automatic uh, parking. Yeah. But it is a building. It, it takes it takes uh, many cars uh, in in the many in many levels. Yeah. Okay, but uh, yeah. it is like uh, you know. You, you will put building. your car, yeah. and uh, it takes to uh, another levels. Okay. With code, and when you uh, need it, uh, uh, you put the code, and uh, it is kind of lift, yeah, yeah. going up. <laughs> yeah, oh, I lift. It is a new solution. Yeah, yeah. That and is. then a proxy. Proxy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> is, yeah, because uh, too many cars. Do you know maybe how many cars in Cairo do you have? <laughs> also, millions of cars. Oh. Yeah. Every everyone have a car. <laughs> Yeah, in family, uh, I, I suppose even more than one uh, car in one family, free. Nowadays, uh, with the increase in, in, in gasoline prices and everything, um, colleagues do the carpooling stuff. Oh, okay. okay. If the university is not providing uh, transportation to a specific place, so um, uh, colleagues are doing carpooling. Mothers at schools are doing carpooling for the area, for the children. Every day one, using one car, so you economize on the usage uh, and the combustion and keeping the environment and so on. Yeah, and we are very high uh, in this. Uh, we, we know how to handle this very well. <laughs> oh, great. That is um, <laughs> the issue. Yeah. Yeah, that is very interesting. A uh, lot of good practices uh, we know in that from the Cairo, because as I remember, it is really overpopulated uh, area. Yeah. So uh, maybe coming to the end, the last final comments from all the pa participants. Professor, could you say us something? Uh, what is your impression about the new city of Cairo? We share the mic. Okay, but. Uh... Beware, I will be controversial. Uh, by such project, I have uh, sometimes uh, feeling that it's so black, white elephant. So, In many countries, also in Poland, we have also a white elephant. It's an airport uh, that we should be one of the biggest airports in Europe. But we don't have uh, really big airlines. So it, it's white elephant. Uh, and by, by, by such project like KO, I have also uh, I'm afraid it can be more political and more uh, publicity and uh, such why, something like white elephant and it will cost very, very much and the final results can be, we will see. Very controversial, it's a very controversial topic, and need, it will need to be evaluated when it takes place. One cannot really predict what will happen. It can either go this way, this way, or that way. And uh, in Egypt, as far as I, this is I, something I say in my international business classes all the time. For example, when Carrefour, this is something else, but I have to say it. When Carrefour opened in Maadi, this is a suburb of uh, Egypt on the highway. Uh, it was something like maybe 20 years ago. Personally, I thought nobody will go there. Nobody. It was so far away. Nobody can reach it. And why would anybody go to Carrefour, this giant uh, supermarket? We are not fam familiar with this. We like, you know, these tiny shops that we are used to. And strangely enough, what happened was that people used to rent cars, you know, poor people from the suburb, from the uh, slums. They rented cars to go to Carrefour. And they would go to Carrefour to see it, and they would see... Yes, I would see they are in the microbuses. They rent the microbus but sorry, and, and, and so they all go. Can you imagine? This was totally unexpected. Yes, okay, but, but a supermarket is a totally different uh, things <laughs> as a new city. It's, no, no. It's, 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 uh, I can tell you one thing. Egyptians are unpredictable because 
Carrefour was expensive. It was expensive. And still the poor people went. And they went and spent the whole day there. And it was something, personally, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I know that it's something very different. I'm just giving us a tiny example. It's another scale. It's a scale. It's, it's something so, so different. My, my understanding also, as I told uh, Professor Rushdi, what will the uh, poor people do in terms of uh, knowing the technology? Yes, most people know how to uh, uh, operate yes. a, a handy, but a smart city is different. So I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not even, it's not just about being able in terms of money to afford it, but even to use the facility, even if you are a worker, I don't know if they will be able to use it. But at the end of the day, uh, Egyptians, which is my culture, they, they surprise you. They surprise you and they are unpredictable. And something like this, we will we'll just need to wait and see and then evaluate and we receive the feedback and then we can act upon Sorry, what is... it's the second difference between Carrefour and new uh, capital. Carrefour... It's a controversial Careful discussion. Is a private money. In your capital, is a, it's your money. It's, it's not it's no, governmental this money. Is, this is what we... No, it's not our money. It's private, private, public, it's private money public. that is uh, invested and it is the private sector, but it is uh, managed by the government. Managed, only managed. We have seen the, the probe of... Uh, <laughs> and, and the, excuse me, Sorry. the old government will transfer to this new capital city, all government. Yeah. You cannot transfer. judge today. Yeah. 2030, yeah. judge. If I'm still alive, yeah. I'll come here and tell you. Yeah. OK? Sorry, very interesting discussion at the end. Sorry, Diane, this interrupted you. But uh, we must finish. So thank you all participant for participation in this session. And now we have break. Thank you so much. <laughs>